I'm Claire Haig, Chief Executive of Greener Journeys, and I'm going to talk about the important role of pricing and taxation in decarbonising transport and why we need to end the freeze in fuel duty. We need a total reformulation of transport pricing. How can it be cheaper to fly from London to Edinburgh than to catch the train when emissions per passenger kilometre for air travel is 10 times that of rail travel? The failure of road taxation to cover external costs means that we overconsume our roads. The fuel duty escalator was first introduced in 1993 as an environmental tax to stem the increase in pollution and congestion from road transport. However, the public already feel that they pay too much in road taxation and following the fuel duty protests in 2000, levying any additional charges on motorists has become politically toxic. Since 2011, fuel duty has been frozen. This means that the price of fuel at the pump has been cut by around 15% in real terms. The direct consequences of this have been 5% more traffic, an additional 5 million tonnes of CO2 emissions, 15,000 additional tonnes of NOx emissions, a quarter of a billion fewer bus journeys and 75 million fewer rail journeys. In addition, the freeze has cost the Treasury upwards of 50 billion, more than twice what we spend every year on NHS doctors and nurses. The Chancellor really should take the opportunity of record low oil prices to increase fuel duty. The money raised from any increase should be ring-fenced to incentivise the take-up of cleaner vehicles and improve public transport. At the very least, the Chancellor should end the freeze and increase fuel duty in line with inflation. This would not only raise important revenue, but would send a clear signal to consumers and could just be the start of the transport revolution that we need.